Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. Today we're going to do a very special uh, pipe tobacco review on this Davidoff Royalty. This is an English blend. Um, I'm looking on the uh, specs, let's just call them, on pipesandcigars.com, saying it is made of Latakia, Orientals, and Virginias. It is, again, English blend. Uh, room note, they say it's level 2 out of 5, what they call mellow. So I'm assuming it's going to be a mellow, mild uh, English blend. But that makes it kind of interesting. It's an English blend, but it's not in your face and strong and probably, I don't know how smoky it's going to be. There is Latakia in there. Um, but it does not say Latakia on here. So it is made of Virginia and uh, Oriental tobaccos. Um, I don't know why. It's expensive, too. This 1.76 ounce tin is roughly uh, 10 bucks. Pipesandcigars.com. That's the most expensive tobacco I've ever bought in so far. Now you bought and bought. And you might be wondering why did I get it then. Well, I don't know. Something just screaming out at me to get it. There's no pipe tobacco reviews on it. Um, there's no... Uh, I saw, like, one review of it online. Somebody said it was, like, okay, but... I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just curious. I want to try it. Might as well just get something expensive. So I have not opened this... Opened this yet? I'm so tongue-tied. I'm sorry. How do I... Do this is only the fourth tin I've ever had. I don't have any tins. I guess I twist it. I'll have to line that up with that. Okay. I'm um, sorry about that. I just pried it open slightly. I heard the little hiss it made, so... Pried it open with the nail clippers, actually, of all things. I don't know why. I think I'm probably just doing something wrong. I don't know, but anyway. Um, you can see there's like lines here and they, they kind of lock it. You're supposed to twist it, but I just could not get a good grip on it. So let's check this out. Ooh, we got another. Oh, that's kind of nice. I love tins. Let me just lift that. Oh, it looks really good. It's an interesting English blend look. Wow. Woo! Has a ketchup y, sweet, vinegary thing going. That's what I, th I thought ketchup was the first thing. Strong, strong smell. I've never smelled anything like that. I'm, I've smelled something like it, but not that strong. <sighs> it smells like ketchup. Very ketchup-y, but like, I, I, I guess that's the Orientals. That's, I, or may, maybe that's Virginia, actually. I heard Virginia is like that. I don't, I don't think it's a Virginia. Maybe it's a combination of both of them. I'm not used to it, but, um, yeah. Smells like it's going to be really... It doesn't smell very Latakia-y. I guess the black is the Latakia, I'm going to assume. I don't know for sure. I'm really not that good with pipe tobacco and such. I'm, I'm fairly new to the hobby, but I'm going to smoke it in this uh, Capri Warlock. This is my English blend smoker because I don't want to ghost my other tobaccos. Uh, my other pipes, sorry. Ghost my tobaccos? How do you do that? Humidity feels pretty good. Maybe slightly on the moist side. Possibly perfect, though. I don't know. I don't think it's too moist. I'm just going to do a three pinch method thing here. Just kind of stuffing it in. Not going to fill it up too much. My pipe smokes tend to be pretty quick. I don't, usually I just get, it's, it's kind of cold out. I don't want to sit there out there for too long because I don't have any company. I don't have anybody to talk to or anything to do. I'm just sitting there with the pipe so it, I get bored pretty fast. I'm just like, yeah, I just want to go inside. So I'm not going to put too much in there, but I packed it kind of tight. Good. All right, I'm going to loosen that up a little bit with my tamper. Um, but yeah, we, you will see me smoke it outside in just a second. Okay, so here I am outside, and yes, I know you probably can't see me at all. Um, I'm going to try to do some sort of color correction effects online so you can see me just a little bit more, but you don't really need to see my face. Um, <laughs> the whole point of this video, if you can see this pipe right here, the whole point is that we're smoking it together in a way. I've never smoked this before. I'm just going to do the review right now. Um, no, we're not smoking it together. I'm smoking it, but you're watching me smoke it, so let's do that. Got a Zippo here. I packed it a little bit tight, but... Now, initially, you certainly get that whole English blend flavor, but as I suspected, there's not much of a Latakia flavor. It's, it's interesting how... Now, there is a, dis dis a difference between English and Latakia. Latakia has a very uh, distinct smoky char type flavor. But this one, you have sort of that English flavor. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's what I'm tasting. It's just not very Latakia rich, which I love Latakia, by the way. So it's sort of a disappointment, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting Latakia. I wanted a different kind of English blend. That's why I got this in the first place. So I can't really say it's a disappointment. I'm going to try to loosen this up a little bit because, again, I tamped it down a little bit too hard. It's just difficult to keep it lit and draw on it. 
Huh. <laughs> I just realized I looked at the camera, I see my face like appearing and disappearing every time I <laughs> draw in with the pipe. Well, it's so it's so far it's a a mild English blend. As you should expect. It's interesting, it's certainly unique. Um there's almost like a fruity thing going on, that's what I'm tasting. Now obviously there's no fruit flavors in here, it's just Virginia Oriental and the Takia, but that's what I taste. It's sweet, it's mildly sweet, it's kind of bitter at the same time, it's mild, it's... So far I think it's okay, but I'm certainly not a, a fan of it at the same time, which is unfortunate because it was a $10 tin. I'm going to continue to smoke this, and if the flavor changes at all, I will let you know. There we go, finally loosened this thing up. I heard from one reviewer, one person, not on pipesandcigars.com, but I watched one review of this tobacco, um, and he said that he heard somebody say that it tasted like butter. Ugh, I got tobacco juice. Crap, I hate that. Can somebody tell me how not to get tobacco juice in my pipe? I don't know how to just prevent that. Ugh, I hate it. It's worse, but... It's certainly velvety. I don't really taste butter. It tastes familiar, but I don't know how to describe it. It's certainly unique. It's velvety, but again, kind of sweet, kind of bitter. It's mellow. It's pleasant. I'm starting to like it the more I'm smoking it, honestly. At first, I just told you I'm not a fan of it, but opinion, I'm, t I'm liking it a little bit more. I'm tasting that ketchup-y thing that I was smelling. I like that smell. I didn't really want to taste that, but I'm kind of tasting that a little bit. That kind of sums up the whole sweet and bitter thing. But anyway, I'm going to smoke this for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to tell you what I think at the end of it, or if the flavor ever changes. All right. Almost towards the end of the bowl. Um, it was a bit of a quicker smoke, because, again, I didn't fill it up with tobacco or anything. You saw me kind of half fill it. Because it is really cold out here. But I just couldn't wait. I just got this tobacco today. Been dying to try it, so I did. Now, I'm um, honestly, I like it. Certainly not my favorite English blend. I'm a more of like a Dunhill nightcap kind of person. You know, I really like that straight up, just smoky, strong, charcoaly Latakia or Latakia, whatever you want to call that. This one doesn't have that. Again, you shouldn't expect it either. It doesn't really advertise the Latakia portion of it. It's for, I think it will please English most English blend fans, unless you just really like that Latakia. You're, you're probably not going to be a huge fan of this. Um, but it, I think it will also please um, some aromatic slash non-aromatic fans, you know, who kind of want to cross over to English blends, but they don't want anything too strong and too in their face, you know. They don't want anything too charcoaly, but they want something a little stronger, a little bit more deep and complex, not like cherries or something like that, you know. But they, they kind of want to cross over. They don't want a straight-up Latakia blend. This, I think, will float their boat a lot. It's it's interesting. It's a mellow English blend, which is usually don't get that. It's usually stronger, smokier charcoal, you know. this is It's interesting. Um, Again, whole butter thing. I didn't taste butter, but I uh, it I guess the whole butter thing came from the texture of it. You know, the, the smoke texture. It's weird. It's really velvety and smooth and light and creamy. Not the flavor so much, but the texture of the smoke, if that makes sense. I liked that a lot. I really liked that. Um, you can tell the difference between a quality tobacco and a non-quality, like a cheap tobacco, regardless of whether you like the flavor of that tobacco or not. You can tell the difference between quality and crap, or at least cheap quality. You shouldn't call it crap, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like, you know, there's crappy, aromatic, like gas station tobacco type things. It's like, oh, I like the flavor of cherries, I like that flavor, but the quality is horrible. It's a crabby tobacco that they're trying to cover up with a flavor rather than a good tobacco and enhancing the flavor. Um, but this was certainly quality. I guess that's where the price comes in. It was velvety, creamy quality, good tobacco. I'm not a huge fan of the flavor. I think it's okay. I will try it once in a while. Not try it. I'll, I'll have it once in a while. I already tried it. Um... If I want an English blend, but I, I don't really know what I want, an English blend or an aromatic. I, I want something a little bit smoky, but I want it velvety and creamy and somewhat sweet. It's very, it's a complex flavor. I like it. Would not buy it again, I don't think, at that price. Um, but I'll keep this tin and use it up until it's gone. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take to do that, but um, yeah. I'm going to leave you with that. It was interesting. Um, I think it's worth trying if you like what I described to you there, but 
I don't 100% recommend it either. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, if you have it, by all means, go for it type of thing. Or if you're really curious. But other than that, I'm not going to say you have to get it right now, you know. It's kind of a lukewarm, interesting quality tobacco. Just not my absolute favorite flavor. But I, I do like it. I'm glad I got it. I'll just say that. Um, so uh, that's that. That's, uh, that's Davidoff Royalty. I almost forgot the name. <laughs> Also, uh, let me know if you want to see more reviews like this with me talking to the camera, or if you want me just, you know, giving you this straight up, uh, tabletop, quick tobacco review. Let me know which one you like better, um, I'll probably interchange it here and there, but that's that.